I'm going to help you fix Sims 4 or any version of Sims that no longer launches or works. You basically click on the icon, the logo app here, and it just does not respond any longer. So let's go ahead and help you fix it. And I'll show you multiple ways, but I'm pretty confident I can get you get you to work. So what you're going to do is locate your your app, your icon on the Windows screen. And this is for all Windows computers, uh, regardless if it's Windows 10 or 11 or 7, whatever you have. So what you're going to do is go over there and simply right click on the icon. And then what you're going to do is left click properties. And then there's two things I want you to do here. When you get to here, select compatibility on the upper right here, compatibility. And then I want you to run compatibility troubleshooter. That could take a few minutes and that'll see if you have any issues with Sims and then restart the computer and see if that works. If that doesn't work, what I want you to do is, again, right click on the uh, Sims icon and then go to properties and then go down here where it says run this program as an administrator. Click on that, click apply, and then OK. Restart the computer and run Sims as an administrator and then see if that will work. Next thing I want you to do is see if Sims runs with Java. So what you want to do is just go on the very bottom left here of your computer screen. For Windows 10 and 11, you just type in right here on the search, just type in Java. Or Windows 7 or earlier, you just basically click on the little Microsoft logo, type in Java. And then uh, when you go over here, click on Config, Configure Java. And what you're going to do is update now and click OK and then restart the computer and see if that will work. Next, after you've done that, what I want you to do is check for updates uh, on Microsoft or on Windows. And so again, just go on the very bottom left here on the uh, search, type in update, and then click check for updates and see after a restart if that will get you to get Sims to work again. Next thing I want you to do is update the video driver. So it doesn't matter what video driver that you have. What I want you to do is on the very bottom left, type in Device Manager in Windows. Click on Device Manager. Find your display adapter. And this one, specific one, is NVIDIA GeForce. But it'll, again, it'll work with any driver, regardless if it's uh, Intel or AMD or whatever. You want to click on it and then Update Driver. That may take a few minutes. Restart the computer and then see if Sims will be able to open. Next, after you do that, what I want you to do is go back to your icon here right click on right click on the sims icon go back to properties and then I want you to check compatibility and then what I want you to do is basically you want to run this as Windows Vista so what you're going to do is find on here on the shortcut where you can click on Windows Vista and then apply and click OK and then tell me if you're able to get on now, after you've tried that, what I want you to do, and this demonstrates what I just did here, I uh, clicked on Run This Program Compatibility Mode for Windows Vista, and click Apply, and then OK. And then, after you did all that, your last resort is to remove Sims 4, and then reinstall it. So just go to the bottom left here of the computer screen, Windows 10, or whatever you have, type in Programs, click on Add or Remove Programs, and then locate your game on all the apps. I would recommend you just uh, search by size. And usually your game is going to be on the very top. So Sims 4 will be on the very top. You want to click on it. And then you want to click uninstall. And then restart the computer. Reinstall Sims 4. And then that should fix the issue. Hopefully you don't have to do that. Alright, thank you for watching. And make sure you subscribe to me.